Alright, I'm going after this car. Do a dig on the MT10 versus the L131. Oh, okay. traction control three. What is that? TCS? I don't have that. <laughs> Quick shifter? I don't have that either. Auto blipper? Nope. Dude, I will say. Riding the MT-09 and then getting on this thing, riding something like the MT-09 or the MT-10, it's like riding like a tool that's been like finesse, like very like finely crafted. And dude, yeah. this just feels like a f raw machine. Like it's so just, I don't know, a very visceral feeling to it. Keep up like that at all. <laughs> oh. Dude, getting back on this thing like after that pull <laughs> makes me remember why I love this bike. What is the MT10 stock horsepower? It makes like 135. Great. Yeah, that's a great. Ooh, pretty hot in these rhinos. Bikos <laughs> should make that a shirt. Pretty hot on these bikos. <laughs> I like super nudes. I want a super nudes key tag. Key tag. <laughs> I kind of like hyper necky. Hyper neck. I mean, because people will understand that better. Hyper naked. I like hyper. Not hyper naked. That works naked. Sure. Like naked. N e k k i d. Naked. Naked. <laughs> naked. <laughs> What's up, Block Fam? In the shop, up at Seminole Harley Davidson today with me, Chris, Sick Wide Glide, Master Level Technician, 25 years experience, coolest guy ever. You guys be sure to go give him a follow at Sick Wide Glide. Tell him how cool he is. No, please don't. Bro, you got some dust on your shoulder there. Is that Cool Guy Chris? Cool Guy Chris. Uh -huh. What's up, Cool Guy? So in, today, <laughs> in today's episode, we're uh, switching from Thunder Max uh, on Goldzilla to a, to a Dynajet tuner. Yep. So this is a stock ECM. Mm. Also with me in the shop, we got Eric, Bagger Bro, and... <laughs> no, he was waiting for the flex, bro. <laughs> and we got Brent Motonosity. You guys be sure to go give him a follow as well. He's in uh, Orlando for like a week. Yeah, yeah. A Just week. like for a, like a, an event or yeah, friends. Take all your bikes, Sweet. take them back to Texas, <laughs> shut down your channel. <laughs> he's invasive like a virus. <laughs> yeah, so he's chilling uh, in Florida for a week and uh, we're gonna put him on a couple motorcycles. Gonna get him to ride Goldzilla. Got the new MT-09 SP 2021 for you to try out. A couple others. Anyways, we're gonna see what kind of power numbers we get out of this new uh, Dynajet install. Chris is gonna tune it up. Removing the uh, Thundermax ECM, we're installing the stock one, right? Correct. And then we're gonna install the Dynajet Power Commander. No, Power Vision. Power Vision, okay. Or O2. Yeah, but it's wow. also running what? What's your octane? Uh, 89 plus additive or 110. We got 116 in there. Ooh, tasty. You don't run straight Sunoco like red gas? It's uh, purple. Oh, yours is purple. Yeah. Oh. Do you want to tell them how far you just rode from and what I'm doing here? Probably rode about 30 miles and Chris yeah. like took it, put it on the lift immediately and is working on it. It is hot as f right now. Like, yeah, so. Because yeah, he's still radiating more, off of it. It radiates off of me too. You know? <laughs> So hot. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were cool. Oh, yeah. 
All right, my bad. Bro, you can't be playing I'll this hot, cold game. I'll cool it off. Hold on. What you think, bro? Being out of your element. I know nothing. Yeah. I don't know any of these All bikes. these weird V-twin things All around these you. labels mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> There's something over there that's got like the wildest white color that I've ever seen on a bike. Just talking about a breakout CBO, that Pearl Doe. Does look good. Can't even see it, but it's in there. <laughs> stock ECM, plug back in. Hey, Stock ECM. Woohoo, yay. Everybody's excited for that one. That's a great mod. Let's put the Stock ECM back in. <laughs> but I mean, that uh, allows us to be able to put this on there. Now we get the tune one. Yay. Children cheering it's noises. Yay. Dino time. Guys, we had to evacuate the dining room. My eyes are on fire. I think, I, I think that was just like 10 years of smoking and it's been three minutes. <laughs> You're like the most healthy person ever. <laughs> you sit in a dining room for 10 minutes and it's like, eh, boo. Yeah, that exhaust thing ain't working out. It was literally melting in front of our eyes. And like, like you could see it just like Yeah, peeling off away. The influencers in the wild. Hey, hey, hey. I'm in, I'm IGing over here. I love you for trying, but I'm telling you, I've spent so many more hours in this dyno. Well, yeah. this ain't gonna happen. No. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are. Final numbers. Finally final. Finally final numbers. Although this is finally for final now. for this setup because we're still building it bigger. If you guys have followed this build, it started out as the 131 stage four kit Steve from Eagle. Harley Davidson with the Screaming Eagle tuner. Basically threw it on the dyno, got the power numbers for that. Then we changed out the exhaust, got the new power numbers for that because we had a Bassani sweepers on there, which was two to two, which is terrible for power. We switched over to the TBR two to one, which also isn't the best for power. We're switching over to a D&D. Also are continuing on in our quest, not currently on here. We've got uh, heads from zippers, ported, better, polished. Better ported, polished angle for these particular cams. Okay. The throttle body, the manifold is- From horsepower rank. From HPI, which yep. again is also for this cam. Yeah. Like, so we have a blueprint engine still to build. And then injectors <clears throat> also. We have injectors. 8.2 gram injectors. This is using 5.5 injectors, 64 millimeter throttle body stock, uh, screaming eagle heads, which are, are really good heads. Uh, it's, a, it's basically a street legal 131 with a 590 cam. We got roller rockers. Roller rockers so from SNS. We got the oil ratio. pump uh, and. The cam oil chest pump. is, cam is chest SNS. From, yeah, SNS. And the numbers are. 151.24 horsepower and 150.13 torque. Not, not bad. It took a hot minute. Cool guy. Oh my god. 
Cool guy, 25 years, master yeah. tech. Like we were saying, guys, we were originally aiming to hit 150 horsepower whenever we started this. And we've got components that are still going on it, and we're already at 151 horsepower and 150 Skittles torque. If you would have been wearing your fedora, we probably would have gotten oh, like 160 got horsepower. 160. Yeah, that Easy. fancy little fedora of yours. Damn, that's nuts, dude. Good yeah, job, man. 150 horsepower, oh, soft tail low rider. <laughs> Wow. If our humidity was less, it'd we be even more. If we less, we definitely would have a bigger number. Yeah, we're almost at 50% humidity. All right, well, we're gonna break for lunch, guys. But damn, bro, I am, that is yeah, awesome. I'm, I'm way high. Dude! Crazy part is, you, you'll walk all over your SP. The MT-09 SP is your tame bike. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. So you have no idea what happened going on in that on ramp. Hooking it up to the cars that are supposed to be merging. Right. As I'm coming up about a pretty quick, a, tra a chair rolls out the back of the trailer. Dude, oh. all I smell is brake, like burning brake. And I'm like, oh, and I'm letting, I'm like, ah, diesel shift. Fortunately, the chair like landed in the middle stripe section. Right. But yeah, I, I watched it. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> it's a chair. It's an I-4 chair. So pretty significant diesel pop. We can take that out real quick. All right, what was that you just said as I'm about to get on the bike? Did you get that? What do you do? Richard, what happened? What? He dropped his nut. Dropped his nut? Dang, I hate it when that happens. You found your nut? <laughs> you found your nut. <laughs> I'm glad to know we never grow up. <laughs> what were you just saying? Second gear, third gear, red line, what? Shift it out here. It's gonna land you right about in here. Okay. And you're right back in that power. Bank. By the time you hit redline or third, you'll probably be moving more fast. Run that out, see what you think. It's all in all a whole nother motor. So you'll you'll find that. Sounds different. <laughs> oh no! There goes Tokyo. Go go Godzilla! Oh yay! Just like when I first got the 131 and I was riding home, the roads are wet. Thank you, Florida. Right in between rainstorms right now. Ooh. Oh, wow. It does feel different. Yeah. Dang, that's crazy. In this episode, like we were saying, like the, the entire build process of this 131, you know, stage four Goldzilla, it has totally been like, like a science experiment. We're basically swip swapping parts, showing you guys being 100% transparent, you know, what works best, what's gonna give you power. So the goal with this episode was basically going from the Thundermax tuner, uh, which is more of an auto tuner, to Dynojet and actually having it tuned, what like difference would there be? Because a lot of you guys, you always ask me, hey, I just did a cam, I just did like a stage one, I just did this, like, should I get it tuned? Does it really make a difference like and hell yes a tune makes a massive difference so I would definitely recommend getting a tune on your bike let me gas up real quick be right back all right gassed up oh it's humid whenever I had the uh, stock tires on here and I added race gas it was just enough after we did the 131 and the 590 threw some race gas in there and the uh, rear tire kept on losing traction was spinning freely oh this road is terrible oh gosh she's even more angry she was angry before now she's angrier I can tell you right now I can already feel a difference as to whenever we rode here it's uh yeah quite a bit different the responsiveness feels noticeable in the throttle. The idle sounds different too. All right, I'm gonna keep recording after I get out of this like construction congested area because this ain't no fun. It's not fun for me and it ain't fun for you guys to watch, so, right back. 
Oh, this construction goes on forever. But. Damn. America. This sounds like a weapon. Yeah, we're pretty much going into the rain, guys. We can go ahead and talk about the tune on this bike and all that stuff. Uh, before we get into that, what I can say is the difference of it before, like when I rode it to the shop versus now, pretty different feeling in the throttle. It's definitely more responsive. With the cam that's in this bike, it is an SNS 590, that's considered a race cam. And so what that means is that it performs like all top end. So you can get like a different cam profile is going to make your engine perform differently. After this cam, we're actually switching over to a 550 by SNS, but you can get something a little more wild like a 475, and that's going to give you a little bit more of like mid range. For me, for the style of riding that I do, you know, uh, living in Orlando, I am in traffic a lot, and so torque is incredibly useful to me, uh, especially for you know like riding in traffic. This bike being mostly more of like high mid to top end, it's not really like mid performance. It's it has a it has an awesome amount of torque, but like you really feel the bike start to turn on in the in the higher RPMs. What that makes you want to do, you know, you've got that nice little push in like the mid to high RPMs, you know, and you can really feel it start to like come alive. It makes you want to run it in higher RPMs, and what that means is that. You're riding like a jackass. I know I've done it many a times, and uh, damn it, it is totally starting to rain. I'm gonna have to wait for another break in the rain to show you guys, because I don't want to do another like, oh, first riding impressions in the rain. That's what I did for the first time that I rode this bike with the 131 on it, and that was not cool. <sighs> yeah, there it is, you can see it. Hooray! Uh, I gotta pull over and put this damn GoPro away. Be right back. All right, guys, made it out of the rain, rode for a little bit, dried off. Man, I was pretty soaked. It actually started getting into my boots a little bit. Ooh, the diesel, oh my God. All right, so second gear, let's do a pull. So ridiculous that my microphone decided to totally give up under <laughs> all of that horsepower. So I'm going to record another video basically demonstrating what it's like to ride this bike. A couple different versions in terms of like from a stop, during a roll, from first gear, launching from second gear because first gear goes by really, really quick. You guys be sure to go give Chris a follow, Sick Wide Glide, give uh, Eric Baggerbro and Moto Nocity a follow as well. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do us a favor, hit that like button. It helps the channel a lot. It lets YouTube know that we're doing a good job and recommends videos like this to uh, other people. If you guys aren't subscribed and you wanna to continue to see motorcycle content like this, do me a favor, be sure to hit that subscribe button also and hit that bell icon as well so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Be sure to keep an eye out for that next video. I'll try to have it out to you guys soon. Till next time, you guys ride safe out there, stay vigilant, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.